Hi crystal lovers, it's Heather Askinosi, and do you want to know the perfect gifts for Valentine's Day? Well, I'm going to tell you what most people always ask me is, what should I get my partner? I want to give them something that they'll remember me all year round. I want to have something that has a purpose, that holds the energy of love, that's going to make them think of love every time they see this piece. Well, these are the perfect gifts for Valentine's Day. Not only for your partner, but maybe for a good friend or your sister or all those people that you love in your life. And I have some suggestions for loving yourself. So one of the number one crystals for Valentine's Day is garnet. Garnet is the perfect stone when you want to ignite passion in your life. So how do you work with garnet? I think garnet is one of these stones that you will work with when you get out of the shower or when you're, you know, you're naked or before you go into the shower and you have some extra time, you want to lay this right on your chakra, your second chakra. And if you can just kind of visualize a piece of garnet right here over your body and just visualize the energy of passion, the energy of sensuality, the energy of like fire and igniting and just opening up that region of your body. And I know for many people, there's a lot sometimes that goes on in this energy field. And so people feel like they're shut down or they feel like there might be shame or there might be embarrassment. And so this just helps you to open yourself up to be in the energy of pleasure. And that doesn't have to only mean sensual pleasure, pleasure in all things in life, pleasure of eating good food or having something that you smell and just enjoying the pleasures of life. Garnet is that stone and it's a great stone for Valentine's Day, but it's a great stone to have on you at all times to ignite passion. So another must have that is such a popular crystal for love is rose quartz. Rose quartz is known to be the stone of love. But what's so great about rose quartz is, is that you can put this on and you want to have this over your heart chakra. And so what's so great is that when you give this as a gift, you can program the crystal with the intention of everlasting love or open yourself up to the energy of love or that when you give this to somebody else, that it holds the energy of love that you have for somebody else. Or you can give it to yourself as another present of opening your heart up and yourself up to love. Rose quartz is such a great piece to always have over your heart. And you can wear it underneath. You don't even need to let people see it, but keep it close to your heart. So a lot of people ask, what can I give my partner? I want to have something that I have a gift and I give my partner a gift. Malachite is another stone of love. It is a great crystal to open the heart. It's a great crystal to expand your heart. It's a great for transformation of taking your love from one level to the next. And this is something that you could wear on your wrist. Once again, you always program your crystals with intention, but this is an amazing love stone for both men and women. Another great present is this is one that you could give your friends, you could give sisters, you have a teacher, anybody that you want to send the energy of love. It's a very fun little gift and it's called the Love Junkie. It's on a string and it has a little droplet of rose quartz. And this is very, it's about the energy of love. It's about opening yourself up and it's about expansion. But the other layer of love that many of us don't talk about a lot, but it's really, really important is what about the times when we need to heal ourselves from a past relationship or heal ourselves from grief or heal ourselves from some aspect of love. And sometimes that can happen through a friendship or a work relationship where there's energy that's being harbored in our heart. Rainbow obsidian is a stone that you put over your heart when you want to heal any aspect of your heart. And what I always like to do with rainbow obsidian is I'll put it over my heart and I will visualize any ill feelings, any hurts, anything that I want to let go of. I visualize this crystal sucking it up 
absorbing my pain, absorbing sadness. And what's so cool about this crystal, it has this rainbow hue into it. So what happens is it absorbs all the energy, but at the very end, it bursts an energy of rainbow into your heart, which is about possibilities and blessings. So the energy of love has lots of lots of layers. And I know with Valentine's Day, some people have a partnership, some people have friends, some people have people that they're sharing with it. But the real message of Valentine's Day, of St. Valentine, is that love is the vibration that we all want to have. So whether you're with somebody celebrating or, with, or you're with yourself, this is the day for us to plug in to the energy of love, for us to unite as a planet. Like this is the day of love. And as we raise our energy and vibration to that frequency, we vibrate out. So let's remember Valentine's Day as the day of love, of connection, of reaching out to somebody maybe you haven't talked to in a while and saying, hey, you know what? I was thinking about you today. I just wanna let you know I love you. Or I wanna let you know how much you mean to me. Calling friends, calling family, maybe even letting go and forgiving somebody that you've had ill will with. And sometimes it's not even about picking up the phone. It's about you taking a moment to yourself and saying, you know what? I'm gonna let it go. I'm going to forgive this person because I want to be in the energy of love. So let's take Valentine's Day to the next level and today inspire the energy of love and spread the energy and give your love to somebody else. And if you like what you saw today, please like, subscribe, and always stay crystal clear.